What's up everyone, Jason A Strange 69 back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at three of the Racing Champion 143rd scale 2003 Dodge NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series 143rd scale diecast. I got Ted Musgrave's uh, Barbed Wire Mopar, Bill Lester's Dodge number 8, and Chad Chapman's uh, Dickey's number 18 Dodge. We'll go over to each one individually, starting off with Ted Musgraves. So it's always one of my favorite looking liveries in the uh, truck series of 2003. All the boxes are exactly the same. On the front here we have uh, Tomar Motorsports Dodge Diecast Super, Super Truck and Dodge Motorsports with the Racing Champions logo up there. Of course, same right writing on the top. The boxes are a little beat up, but that's okay. There's the back, send, and of course, licensing. This was produced by RC2, by rcertle.com. So yeah, go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Take a closer look at it. These trucks were also produced in a 118th scale version. So yeah, here is the Ted Musgrave. It's a really good looking truck. I always, Like I said at the beginning here, I always thought this was one of the cooler looking liveries. Of course it's a kind of odd casting because it don't seem like they're proportioned right. It is a premium die cast with full uh, die cast body chassis and rubber tires it is a two rivet casting there's the bottom we do have some detail with the exhaust pipes and everything on the bottom there of course as i mentioned rubber tires of course here on the front we have dodge and mopar on the hood number one contingencies here we have edelbrock wicks comp cam moog 76 and clevite with Goodyear above the front fenders, Ray Bestis, NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Bud, Mobile One, Jessel Simpson, Fairlight Auto Meter, Holly. For your door contingencies there, of course, got number one with ultra wheels in front of the rear wheel wells, Mopar, Snap-on, and Chrysler Financial there on the side. Of course, we have Team ASC, uh, Dodge Ram, and Dodge Dealers there on the B post with Ted Musgrave up here on the roof rail with the number one. Of course, Craftsman up here on the window banner. Does have blue roll cage, as you can clearly see. Of course, got the uh, roll bars uh, coming out of the rear window. Here on the bed of the truck, we have the Mopar logo and Chrysler Finan Mopar Chrysler Financial once again. Tailgate, Mopar, Chrysler Financial, and Dodge. We do have tail light tampos. Right side of the truck, exactly the same as the left side. So yeah, got Dodge here on the side of the hood. So overall, it's a really good truck. It rolls really good. No uh, tension with the wheels rolling with the truck or anything. So that is the Ted Musgrave. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Pop open the uh, Bill Lester number eight. Take a closer look at it. I did do a solo review of this truck, I believe, a year or two ago now. So it was time to uh, kind of do an update video with this one. Once again, same casting as the uh, Musgrave truck. Kind of an odd shaped truck, but it does the job. Of course, here we have. No Dodge uh, logo uh, underneath the bottom of the grill there, but we do have the number 8. Of course, you can see uh, we do have valence detail like with the Musgrave one. We can see a fastener, silver fastener details on it. Craftsman up on the window banner with Dodge on the hood. Dodge on the side of the hood there, along with 76, Clevite, Moog, Jessel, uh, JE and comp cams for your contingency. Goodyear above both front tires. Once again, it is a premium die cast with all die cast body, chassis, and rubber tires. Same detail on the bottom. Do have racing champions there. 
tooling number. It's hard to see, but there is a tooling number right there. Same with the Musgrave. It's right there. You can see 1023 SR, it looks like. So, or something close to that. Contingencies on the side. We have Goodyear above both front tires, of course. Got Featherlight, Ray Bestus, NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, Bud, Mechanic Wear, Wicks, Jessel, Automator, Holly, Ray Bestus, Waste Management. Of course, number eight with the green arrow for the jack stop. Mopar, see your local Dodge dealer above that Dodge. Of course, we have Redline Oil, Lincoln Waters, Autolite, a few little contingencies here on the quarter panel with Dodge above the rear wheel wells. Dodge dealers, official Dodge Ram on the B post with Bill Lester's name up on the roof rail and the number eight on the roof, of course. Now this one has a gray roll cage on the interior, red roll bars coming out of the window. Bed of the truck features Dodge and see your local Dodge dealers. See your local Dodge dealer and the number eight on the tailgate. Of course, tail light detail. Right side of the truck is exactly the same as the left side. So that would be the Bill Lester. Let's take a look at the Chad Chaffin here. I'm not even going to go over the box because, as I mentioned at the beginning, boxes are exactly the same on all three releases. Personally, uh, my favorite would be a toss up between the Musgrave and the Chaffin one here. Nothing against the Bill Lester, but it's kind of plain. I'm more into the Musgrave and the uh, Dickies one here of Chad Chaffin. Really good looking truck. Of course, this one here features Dodge below the uh, grill there. Got the Dodge Ram logo in the grill. Dickies on the hood. Dickie, uh, Dodge on the side of the hood there. Got the 18 down there. Got headlight tampos on all three of them. Of course, there's 76 Clevi Edelbrock Moog Comp Cam JE there for your contingencies. Goodyear above the front tires, just like the other two. Of course, got NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Bud. Uh, mechanic wear, wicks, waste management, Fairlight, Jessel, Automator, Holly, and Ray Bestus as your contingencies on the door with the number 18. Of course, there's your Mopar with the zipper, Dickies above the rear wheel wells with Redline Oil, Lincoln Motors, and a few other little contingencies there on the rear quarter panel. Same contingencies on the B post. Well, you got uh, Dodge Dealers, you got Dickies, the Craftsman, and the Dodge Ram logo with Chad Chaffin on the roof row and the 18 on the roof. Once again, this one here has a gray interior roll cage with blue roll bars coming out of the rear wheels, or rear window, excuse me. We've got Dickies here on the bed of the truck, once again on the side. Here on the uh, tailgate, we got Dickies and Dickies.com, Mopar, number 18, and Dodge. Right side of the truck, you guessed it, basically the same as the left side. Here's the bottom. Actually, I think this uh, they all have about the same tooling number, if that is the tooling number. Because that one looks like 1823 SR, and I think all three of them are the same, but they're kind of hard to read. Because it's a dark blue on a black chassis. This feels... I said the chassis were die cast, but I think it's plastic, actually. So it might be plastic chassis, rubber tires, die cast body, but... Anywho... Still, all three of them are great trucks. Personally, I like the uh, Musgrave, Chaffin, and then Lester in that order. So yeah, that is my review of the Racing Champions 2003 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Dodge of Ted Musgrave, Chad Chaffin, and Bill Lester. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and click that bell for notifications as I post new diecast reviews every week. Be sure to follow me on social media absolutely everywhere at JasonAStrain69 to stay up to date on future reviews and new additions to the collection, which will be future reviews. So thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. See you next time for an all-new Diecast Review. Bye.